What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to another episode of Ruin a Randomer. Um, today I'm going to do a question time episode, so just bear in mind guys that this is a live commentary, but I will still be reading the questions from Twitter, so uh, that could be quite difficult. I've done it once before and managed to do it, but uh, never, never tried it again. So this is the team I'm running with. We've got Enino, Wellington Silva, Danilinho, Fetfarcidis, Carlos Alberto, Michael Liete, uh, Marcio Azevedo, Manuel, Diego Heleno, that guy at right back, and uh, the goalkeeper, Diego Cavalieri. Uh, on the bench, I've actually got the um, Eredivisie team and Cicinho there. Uh, and contrary to popular belief, this is not the um, the inform uh, Vazte. It's Jurisic, as you can see right there. Um, why am I using this team again? I get a lot of people question, like, oh, you just use that team all the time, use a different team. Uh, I just really, really enjoy playing with this team. So if you don't enjoy me watching me with this team, that's, uh, I guess that that's your tough luck. Uh, so I'm going to jump straight into the questions. I've already got 88 questions, um, or 88 interactions on Twitter anyway, so there, there will be a hell of a lot of questions. And... Um, I'm going to do this over two videos, so you're going to get two videos today, they're both going to be live comms, this is going to be the first one obviously, uh, the second one's going to be the shooting for silverware on Euro 2012, which I'm in the, the quarterfinals for, I'm going to use that as a second one, and uh, without further ado, here we go, um, let me actually do, right, Right, Amal number 10 says, you want Man United or Man City to win the league? I'm torn, to be honest. I, I've got reasons for both. Uh, some of them selfish, some of them not so much. Um, it would be awesome to see City to win the league because it would be nice for a change. And because if Man United don't win the league, they won as much as Arsenal this season, which is nothing. And it kind of, the, after the amount of abuse I get for being an Arsenal fan, which I don't care. You know, I give out the abuse as well, so I, I can take it. But um, it would just be very, very fun to, um, to you know, kind of say to Man United fans, well, hey, you know, you won as much as us this year, and that's absolutely nothing. Um, however, I don't like teams that buy the title. You know, uh, don't get me wrong, City have played some good football, and if they, you know, if they win the title, they've been most consistent over the over the nine months of the Premier League, so they fully deserve it. But I love teams that um, just, you know, work hard for the the title through seasons and seasons of building rather than one rich man coming and uh, giving them a crap load of money to buy a crap load of good players and then them just going on from there and winning um, so I, I'm, I'm really am torn. I guess in in a completely moral sense I would prefer it if Man United won it uh, but it's going to be interesting like it's going to go down to the final game of the season no doubt uh, even if United lose the next game and City win it still go down to the final game simply because uh, the, the goal difference it will be massive but it will still be possible you know it will just mean that there needs to be like a like 15 goal swing or something on the last day which is very very unlikely but it still adds that um, that drama and I don't think the Premiership has the, ever been won on goal difference before so um, that could be uh, very very interesting that uh Oh, what a save keeper. Uh, the next question is, would you ever go back to FM and do 50 seasons again from uh, Glenn? Uh, probably probably would, Glenn, if, if I had the time. Um, I do love Football Manager. Uh, massive, massive fan of Football Manager. I'm not really a be big fan of the most recent releases because they're just too in-depth. Like, you know, you just have to work too hard. At them. You know, I've got a full-time job anyway. I do YouTube. I don't need a full-time job on a simulation game. Um, but that being said, Football Manager is uh, an insanely awesome game to play, and uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind doing it again. If I if I come across one of the Football Managers that I think is absolutely amazing again, um, I probably would go and invest a hell of a lot more time in it. But until then, unfortunately not. Um, this uh, this guy's this guy's pretty good at FIFA, by the way. So this is even more tough than usual. Um, oh, hello. Oh, how's that a foul ref? Come on. Next question is, how often do you bet on football from Duncan? Um, uh, a lot, really. Um, well, not... Oh, what a goal. Um, not so much anymore. Uh, I mean, it, Betfair is something I used to live on. I make make a lot of money off Betfair. Well, used to anyway. Um, now, every, every Saturday, I'll put a multiple on uh, of eight games. 
first like overs basically over two and a half goals in eight games and if it comes in great and if it doesn't no problem but I don't tend to actually bet too much on it anymore just because I, I actually don't really know why um, there, there's no good reason other than uh, yeah I, I don't actually have a good reason um, oh wow he's kicked out of a corner <laughs> um, I just stopped I guess I, I won like I said I won over a period of time quite a quite a considerable amount of money um, and guess just felt like that was that was good enough you know this guy this guy's um defending too too much for me not in a way that I can't beat him but it's hard when I'm talking to you guys as well for me to break down someone like this come on Eninho oh, I want to see that this has got to be a goal yeah. oh how's he hit the post Yes, there we go. And Nino with the goal. Right, next question. Gareth Keane says, best ride at Alton Towers in your opinion? Um, Air is pretty awesome. Uh, Rita was pretty awesome. Rita was really good. It's really, really fast, but it's really, really short. It's literally like 18 or 20 seconds long, and that's just nowhere near long enough in my opinion. Um, like, if they made something like Rita about 45 seconds to a minute long, I would... I would hands down say that's the best but air was really good and of course like uh, oblivion is um is pretty awesome too they're all awesome I love roller coasters man like I go to, uh, when I went to the states a couple of years ago um me and my girlfriend went to oh what a tackle um oh yeah that's a cheeky 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 goal but we'll take it me and my girlfriend went to like um Universal Studios, Busch Gardens, Epcot Center, Disney World, things like that, and just had an awesome time. Like the Sea World, I love their rides, and I, I love the thrill of just being on a roller coaster. So, um, Kane says, I have a question: How many potatoes can you eat in one minute? Probably one, if that. Maybe even none. Um, I, I've never tried to eat an, a certain amount of potatoes in a minute, and I, I don't think that's a challenge either. Like, I don't think I could do that as a challenge to do because they're just potatoes you know um, so I don't know we'll see maybe if we can think of it to be a bit more of an interesting challenge then I can do it but uh, as is don't think so ah oh, nearly got away with that oh one has a Vado look at the techers mate um, apologies for the, the silence Oh crap, didn't do the trick. I think this guy's getting mad. Ah, oh, got lucky with that tackle. Um, I know I'm going silent here, this is just concentration central. Right, next question. Uh, Philippe Neri Nepo, do you see the Portuguese football? Do you support any team? I don't really watch Portuguese football to be honest. Like I, I know a little bit about it. I don't really follow it too much. Uh, if I had to support a Portuguese team, it would probably be Porto. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I don't really, um, I don't really follow it to be honest. Just because, and that, like there is no good reason for me not to follow Portuguese football. Other like you know, it's like following football is sometimes a lot of effort. Like to follow an entire league and learn the the teams and the players and stuff and it's um yeah I, I don't know i just don't do it oh that's got to be a foul ref fucking right this guy's getting mad man this guy's getting angry at himself well is he actually doing that i think this should be a goal oh what a finish Martial has a Vado. It, it wasn't going in until the it bounced off the keeper. That is deadly unlucky, but hey, we'll take it. Um, next question is Alex says, "What do you think about Team of the Year?" Well, this Team of the Year is the most consistent. I don't think they've upgraded the players enough. I don't think they've upgraded them as much as they should have done. And I hate the colour of the blue card. I think they're absolutely hideous. Um, but the players, you know, you can't really argue with the players for people that have never had an inform like the like I say, the most consistent. Um, so, yeah, I've got no complaints really. Oh, I tried to do the uh, the Blanco hop, failed. Um, 
I'll be interesting to see if all the different team of the years all have different color cards. Like that would be that would be pretty awesome. But at the same time, it just because of the prestige value of them, it adds. Oh, it adds so much because of the prestige value of the card. It adds so much monetary value to the card, which is terrible. Like I can imagine these blue cards are just going to go through the roof for prices, even though they shouldn't be. So um, that's. Um, that's not that's not the best. Next question, also from Alex. When are you coming to Rome? I was actually in Rome last year, Alex. Uh, I, I spent three days in Rome and had an awesome time. And that's 4-1. Diego Heleno. This guy's getting a dick now. Um, um, yeah, I, I loved Rome. Rome was absolutely immense, man. Vatican City, amazing. Like, I had such a great time walking around Rome, all the streets, the restaurants. Like there's like a little square I can't remember what it's called uh, where they've got like a whole bunch of restaurants around it and then inside you've got like dudes painting and um, like street artists like for juggling and magic tricks and stuff like that and it was just generally absolutely awesome um, and I would definitely love to go back to Rome it was definitely one of the of all the places I've ever visited in my life that was one of my favourites like in the top three for sure um, Next question is, why do you support Arsenal? Um, Arsenal were the first team I ever went to see play, like, real football. And Arsenal also, uh, like, my, not my home team per se, but, um, like, they're a London club. And they're, they're, I, don't, I, I don't really know. Um, like, the, the main reason I can figure is because I, they're the team I, uh, I went to see first when I was, like, real young, um, which I guess is a valid enough reason. Um, but... If you don't take that as a valid enough reason, then I don't actually know. Um, my, hold on, yeah, my my cousin as well, like he supports Arsenal, um, and I used to hang around with him a lot when we were younger. So I, I guess he had an influence on why I supported them. Um, so he would, you know, like he's older than me. So when I was younger, I would always like emulate what he did, and if he he supported Arsenal, so I would support Arsenal. Um, and that, that's probably why, but that doesn't take away from the fact that I absolutely love Arsenal, you know, I don't, like, think oh, I just support them because, and, like, like, my brother, he doesn't really like football, he supports Crystal Palace, um, because, we like, where we live is just real, real close to Selhurst Park, um, and that's why he supports Palace, but uh, he doesn't care about football, he doesn't, if I asked him to name me one player on the Palace team, he wouldn't be able to, like, he really doesn't like football. Uh, which I find uh, quite bizarre. <laughs> I don't know how people don't like football, but um, my brother likes rugby a lot better than he likes football. But uh, yeah, like like I said, he supports a team for the sake of supporting a team. I support Arsenal, like, and I I'm an Arsenal fan all through and through. Like, I would never ever dream about changing. Like, if Arsenal started doing like really shit and didn't get in the Champions League and even like you know started getting relegated and lost all their best players and stuff, I wouldn't care. Like, I would still support them. Uh, it really wouldn't make any difference to me. Oh, 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 wow. I should have read that off the bar because then I could have come back and volleyed it in and, like, set myself up. No, I didn't expect that to hit the bar. That's a foul. Uh, next question is, um, who do you think will finish in the top four and who will get relegated? Well, top four is pretty much dead set now, pal. <laughs> I'm going to go with Man United and Man City as two of the top four for sure. Um, the other two, I reckon, are going to be Arsenal and um, I, I suppose the fourth spot is difficult. I, I don't think it's going to be Newcastle. I think Newcastle are going to are going to drop out simply because they had a bad result against um, Wigan. Was it Wigan? I think it was Wigan anyway, um, where they they lost four nil. And um, oh, get off my ball, mate! Oh wow, that's a foul ref. Um, and they needed those three points because their next game is against Man City. So if they lose that, great, it gives a great opportunity for Spurs and Chelsea to get back into that um, that spot, you know. Come on, go in. Nah. Um, yeah, it gives a great opportunity for Spurs and Chelsea to get back into that spot. I, I think the the fourth, the fourth, third spot, I think, is going to be taken by Arsenal. I, I have a feeling uh, Chelsea are going to nick fourth spot just because they've been doing awesome recently. Um, oh... Uh, yeah, they've just been playing like they've been playing really, really good recently. Like Roberto Di Matteo has completely transformed their their season. Uh, obviously, Champions League final, um, FA Cup final. You know, can't uh, 
can't debate how good they're playing right now. Um, Torres scoring as well. Do you know what I mean? Stranger things have happened. So it's one of those things. Um, so relegation, I think Bolton. Um, I think QPR are going to get relegated. And uh, and obviously Wolves have already been relegated. I, I don't want QPR to get relegated though. I'd be happy if they didn't because I think they're, they're a good team. You know, I think they're a solid team. And, I don't think they deserve to go down, but if they obviously if they finish in the bottom three, they do deserve to go down because they they've not been as consistent as possible. Uh, the next question is from some weird guy that says, "You mad, Nepo? You mad? You fucking mad? Um, no pal, no, not mad." <laughs> Cheers for the question. I appreciate the feedback. Uh, next question: What movies are you looking forward to this year? Well, I was supposed to go and see Avengers last night. I ended up not. I actually watched. Um, I actually stayed at home with my girlfriend and we watched. Uh, Underworld number four. I can't remember what it's called, um, and that was that was uh, that was a good film. Not a great film, but we're gonna go and see Avengers with uh, with like the family and make it a family day out to the cinema. Oh yeah. Um, but uh, the other films I'm looking forward to seeing, I don't, I don't even know. Do you know what? I don't. Even, I haven't even really kept up with uh, the films this season of what's good and what's not and what's going where and so on and so forth. Oh, what is that outside? No way. No way. Oh, yes. Damn it. Um, so I suppose the only film I'm really looking forward to is The Avengers. Like, that looks awesome. Um, next question is, Nep, how now Arsenal sign Podolsky, do you think we can win anything next season? Rumours of Vertigan interested, among others. I, th I think... Arsenal, a lot of Arsenal season next season depends on who we keep this season. Um, basically, if, if like if Van Persie leaves and Podolski is actually his replacement, we're fucked. But if Van Persie stays and Podolski is there as not backup but as um, strengthening the team, along with like you know getting Jack Wilshere back and oh, that's a foul ref. Getting Wilshere back and the fact that Rizitski's in a, like, a great run of form right now, he's an absolute class player. Um, you know, Jovino will have a season under his belt in the Premiership, and uh, and so on and so forth. Um, I think I, I wouldn't I wouldn't go and say like we can win the Premiership and stuff, but we'll have a, such a stronger team, especially if we can get like another like class centre back and um, and just some solid replacements. You know what I mean? Because right now, if we lose a couple of players to injury, we're we're screwed. Like that's it for us. The you know the we start running out of players and um, it's basically just gets really really tough for Arsenal like the the best thing for Arsenal this season has been the fact that Van Persie has stayed fit all year uh, and that's that's shown in where we finished in the table um, or where we should finish you know we should finish third fourth at kind of worst um, and that's because Van Persie among others has been fit the whole season um, Oh, he's put it wide. No. Um, so we'll, we'll just have to see. I'll, I'll talk much more about football in it throughout the summer, I guess, and who other teams do and don't sign and stuff. But you know, you gotta, you can never really not look at City or United, especially City with the amount of money they got, with the amount of players they can get. Um, it just doesn't really bear thinking about other teams winning anything. Uh, the next question is, and this will be the last question: Who do you want Arsenal to sign the most? Um, the most obviously like Messi or Ronaldo, but if I'm, you know, if I'm realistic with it, oh, he's going to be offside. Or is he? Is that a foul? That's a foul. Uh, it's offside. Gay. Um, the the most person I would like us to sign is just like an absolute superstar winger. Uh, we don't really need centre of the park players. Um, so just a world class winger, someone like because Walcott is just funny, man. Walcott's either amazing or terrible. Uh, and he's terrible more than he is amazing. So uh, we need someone like, um, like Ribéry. Do you know what I mean? Robin Ribéry, someone like that. Just, just an absolute superstar winger, and then uh, then I'll be happy. And I think that's going to be the end of the game, guys. So I'm not going to hang around after too much of this. I just want to say thank you all very much for watching. If you could hit that light and light, if you could hit that like and favorite button, that would be amazing. Um, if we can get this up to a thousand likes as usual, guys. That'd be awesome. Oh, oh, he's got a foul for that. Uh, yeah, it'd be awesome if we get a thousand likes, guys. Uh, this this video you should be getting around three o'clock. I will put a, another video up 
at uh, at about eight o'clock. Let's just stand here. Oh, he went straight down the middle anyway. Um, yeah, I'll put another video up about eight o'clock tonight. Maybe maybe earlier. Maybe seven thirty. If this if this video gets a thousand likes before then, I'll put it up as soon as that's ready. Uh, if it doesn't, then you're gonna have to wait, unfortunately. Um, yeah, but this pirate. I'm yawning. I actually just woke up, guys. Um, just before I came on to to make this video, I woke up because I, I'm just feeling. I don't know why, man. I'm I'm sleeping so much recently, and I don't know why. But I'll talk about more of that more of that in the next episode, innit, blad? Um, but yeah, managed to beat this guy five three. It was a pretty tough game, especially considering I had to talk through the whole damn thing. Uh, have a quick look at the match details. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you next time. Jizz.